Well, what's up, my dudes? Are you ready for some fun facts with Discord number two zero? I think. Let me double check. Hold on. Is it two zero? Is it two zero? It's two zero. Okay, here we go. Coke Zero is supposed to have no sugar. Remember the tax on sodas and stuff? Coke Zero is getting taxed with that. Coke, you taxing my favorite drink right now? You taxing? You taxing that? Stop it. People tend to significantly overestimate how noticeable their embarrassing are to others due to a cognitive bias known as the spotlight effect. So just remember, you're not that embarrassing. Your brain's just making you think otherwise. Unless you took your pants off in public, then put them back on. Community has pulled off one of the most patient Easter eggs. In one episode of each of the first three seasons, the word Beetlejuice was used offhandedly in a joke. If you've seen the movie Beetlejuice, the titular mischievous ghost would appear in a world of the living if anyone said his name three times. So sure enough, on the third mention by a community character, a guy looking like Beetlejuice appears in the background for exactly two seconds. They patiently waited three years to reach that punchline. I love Community so much. I miss it. Give me my movie! In the Jurassic Park films, the iconic Tyrannosaurus Rex roar was created using sounds from various animals. But for many of them, they messed with speed and pitch of some sounds made by Gary Rydstrom's Jack Russell Terrier, Buster. And bonus weird fun fact, to make the noise the Utah Raptors make when they squeal, honk, and bark at each other, Rydstrom took the sounds of tortoises having sexual intercourse. He said in an interview with Vulture in 2013, it's somewhat embarrassing, but when raptors bark at each other communicate, it's a tortoise having sex. I will now demonstrate what that sounds like. Ha! <laughs> so just pitch that down a little bit, and it might be pretty scary. Henry Ford didn't invent the automotive assembly line. It was Oldsmobile that did. While Ford did invent the mobile line that was more efficient, Oldsmobile assembly line consisted of stations where they would build each car individually. The process of building each car took days, if not weeks, to complete. Sure, Henry didn't make the assembly line, but god dang it, he did make it much, much smoother. Oh boy, this is a long one. Okay. <clears throat> the Beatles broke up at Disney World due to a lot of red tape and Lego limbo mumbo jumbo. The breakup of the Beatles was prolonged from 1970, when Paul quit the group and officially announced it to be over, to December of 1974. At that time, George, Ringle, and Paul already signed the paperwork needed for the Beatles to break up. But while waiting for John Lennon at the Plaza Hotel in New York, close to where he lived at the time, they were informed that John Lennon was actually vacationing at Disney World for the holidays with his girlfriend, Mei Pong. This is when he and Yoko briefly separated for his lost weekend. So, in December 29th, 1974, they sent George Harrison's lawyer to Disney's Polynesian Village Resort and asked him to sign the papers. With the Magic Kingdom as his backdrop, he officially declared that the Beatles are over by scribbling his name on a piece of paper. I can't believe Mickey killed the Beatles. Ha <laughs> ha! You can actually keep milk after its sell-by date, and it will be safe because the milk gets pasteurized, meaning that any harmful bacteria would have been removed long before it hit the shelves. Sure, it might make it feel sick and it might not taste good, but according to the LA Times article I've linked below, the safety risk of keeping milk past its sell-by date practically don't exist. Kinda wanna look into that one more. Then again, I'm pretty sure I'm becoming lactose intolerant, so I'm not drinking milk that much anyways to really care. But I'm sure somebody will. In the video game Fire Emblem Awakening, there is a specific throwing weapon used by those who can wield axes called the Volant Axe that is actually based off the Hunja Munja? Hunga Munga? The Mombel of the Magbedu. The Mombel is a form of a hybrid knife axe which consists of an iron blade with a curved section rearward spike. The curved hook of the blade was used to keep the weapon in the victim and if pulled out caused further damage. The Mombel can be used in combat as a hatchet or dagger, or more typically thrown. This is why the Volan Axe in Awakening has a range of 1 to 2 and is also based on the axe class. I'm imagining Donald with one of these and it amuses the crap out of me. Come on, Donnie! Throw that weird goofy axe! For anyone using Adobe programs such as Photoshop or InDesign, this will be good to know. Photoshop files are much bigger and will take up more space on a flash drive compared to an InDesign or Illustrator file, which take up far less space. This will be helpful to any future artists using these programs. Granted, it might take up a long time to fill it up depending on your storage space or your flash drive. That is good to know. Thank you, assassin. 
Oh god, is he here to kill me? In South Africa, 2009, an employee of an IT company complained that data would get transferred faster by Carrier Pigeon than on ASDL. Winston the Pigeon, armed with a 4 gigabyte memory stick, took two hours to carry the data 60 miles. In the same time, the ADSL had sent 4% of the data. And I thought my internet was slow. Colonel Sanders hated KFC. So much he was sued by the company and won because it was never stated that the colonel was required to promote KFC. In fact, he used to go to KFC restaurants across the nation and jump behind the counter and taught people how to make his chicken properly. Now, if they tried to do that stunt now, we have way too many actors for the colonel, so who knows? Actually, that would be a very interesting publicity stunt. KFC, let's talk. I am ding dang for flatulies. There exists a chemical solution known as piranha, which is a combination of sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide. The two chemicals together will eventually neutralize, as best it can, and you will often need to keep adding peroxide, but it will aggressively attack any carbon-based matter and vigorously bubble and boil. Effectively, the acid breaks down the matter to simple carbon compounds, while the peroxide forms carbon dioxide from those compounds. You can search online for a couple of these reactions dissolving wooden chopsticks, meat, and other materials. Now that sounds cool and dangerous. Don't do anything with those chemicals.